Hi there, welcome to Cooking in Manhattan. Today we are going back to basics and I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect omelette. The ingredients are ever so simple. We're going to use two eggs, uh, four tablespoons of um, milk. I have a regular 2% milk, but you can use cream if you want something a bit richer. Uh, then obviously there will be some salt. And uh, since we're making a very basic omelette, just a bit of parmigiano. We're not gonna add any herbs or anything else. And obviously to coat the pan, uh, we're going to use one tablespoon of oil. Um, in, French, uh, in French cuisine, they will teach you that you need some butter, but I find that oil makes for a lighter and less heavy flavor. The most important thing that you need though for your omelette really is a pan. I have a pan that I devote exclusively to omelettes and uh, eggs and that's what they do usually in restaurants as well and you might want to consider investing in a non-stick pan uh, that you season very well with some oil and that you keep exclusively for eggs and omelettes. So the first step is I put one tablespoon of oil on my non-stick pan and I'm going to put it on medium heat. Here we go. And in the meantime, I will mix all the ingredients. So first the milk goes in, then I'm going to crack open the eggs. Number one, oops, sorry, splattered a bit. And whoop, this splattered a lot. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay, and then a little bit of salt. I make it a pinch of salt, so this is about it. And a little bit of parmigiano. Funny, parmigiano when you, when you make it super, when you grate it super thin, it looks a little bit like coconut flakes. But trust me, this is not coconut. And then we're going to mix together. Okay, so the most important thing obviously for an omelet is the way you cook it. As you can see, the oil is already, um, is already hot. We're going to add the eggs to the pan and lower the heat to medium low. As you can see, it's already coagulating on the side. So what we do is we lift the side and then we let the uncooked eggs move to the side of the pan, like so. So you make sure that this way you cook all the eggs and all the liquid. Obviously this takes some time, uh, it takes about two or three minutes to actually have um, all the egg mixture cooked. So I'll show you the next step in just a few minutes. Now traditionally an omelette is not round like this, it actually looks more uh, like a rectangle. So I'm going to quickly fold this side. As you can see, the eggs are golden on the other side. And then when I put, put it in the, um, uh, in the plate, I will fold the last, the last uh, um, angle of the, of the omelet. So I will show you how I plate it just, just in a few more minutes. If you were to add any stuffing, any filling to this omelet, this would be a good moment to do that. You would basically place it in the center over here and then cook it for a couple more minutes to make sure that, for example, if it's cheese, it melts perfectly. But if you want to plate it and eat it as is, you basically fold it so that the first corner is about to go into the plate and then you fold it over. And so this is the traditional shape of an omelette like you would eat in Paris, for example. As you can see, making a good looking and most importantly, super fluffy omelette is very easy. But now let's give it a try. So as you can see, it is very fluffy. Uh, it's not flat at all. And then we'll give it a try. It's a little hot, so let me blow on it a little, a little bit. It's a fantastic omelet. So 
I hope you enjoy watching me make an omelet. I hope you make your own omelets from now on. No need to go for brunch outside if you can make something delicious at home. And I'll see you again on the next Cooking in Manhattan. But now, turn off your computer and get cooking. Ciao!